This forecast is powered by Johnson's Appliances and Benny, your local independent appliances and Benny retailers. Visit us in store or online at johnsonsappliances.net. All right, good morning. Happy Hump Day Wednesday, everybody. We had some snow last night, and you know what? That made my day. I think that made my year so far because... Well, even though we haven't had a whole lot this season, I still look forward to it every time it happens. Now, before we dive into the forecast, I want to show you a viewer picture that was sent to me last night. I want you to meet Dominic. Dominic is six years old. He lives in Sicklerville, and he probably picked up about a half of an inch of snow. Typically, you would think, oh, that's not enough for a snowball fight or let alone to build a snowman, right? Well, he made the best of the situation, and look at that awesome snowman. I mean, I would rate that an A++. Great job there, buddy, and thank you for sending all your pictures in. I really appreciate it. All right, our big picture for today, it's all about one word, cold. High pressure builds into the west. Winds are really going to be whipping already gusting to over 25 and 30 miles an hour. It's only going to get worse through the course of the day. Cold front out to the west, and as that begins to move in, we could actually see a few snow squalls sparked. It's kind of like uh, a thunderstorm in the summer season. Off in the distance, you see those ominous-looking clouds. They come in rapidly, and they snow themselves out in 10 or 15 minutes, and they reduce visibility. That's the number one concern. So not everybody is going to see them, but the chance is obviously there. Partly cloudy skies as you're heading out to the bus stop today. Temperature starting off in the lower 30s. So yes, you got to bundle up because it feels much colder than that with the wind across our faces. 30 in Philadelphia, 32 for Atlantic City, 32 up in New York, 29 out in Pittsburgh and really cold down in Harrisonburg, Virginia, 21 degrees. Right now in Atlantic City, we're at 32. 30 in Mays Landing, 32 in uh, Cherry Hill and Millville and the Fortescue area, 34 down in Cape May. Winds right now, gusting 26 in Bridgeton, 23 for Mays Landing, and we're only going to see those values come up through the early afternoon. How about 41 mile an hour gust possible in Cape May and I think up along the coast, that's where you're going to see the higher winds because you have less resistance there. 29 mile an hour gust in Hamilton and 30 in Mays Landing, 29 in Woodland Township. And we are going to be breezy right up into this evening. And then we'll start to back down overnight. And tomorrow overall is looking like a calmer day. Still cold, but we're not worrying about any kind of turbulent weather. Because it's going to be so windy, we have a wind advisory in effect for the entire viewing area. That means we could potentially see gusts to over 45 miles an hour. And clearly it feels much colder, feeling like we're in the 20s as you're getting ready to head out to work in school. Partly cloudy skies. And uh, I think with that northwest flow and with the cold front coming through, we could definitely see some more clouds increase through the course of the afternoon. And then there will be these areas of heavy snow. They're not going to amount to much because of our temperature profile, but you can pick up, honestly, a quick tenth to a quarter of an inch of snow in a very short period of time. So I think it's a new thing. Just a couple weeks ago, the first time in my career, I saw a snow squall warning pop up. Again, very similar to thunderstorms in the summer where you get these high wind gusts, you get uh, blinding snow. Obviously, it's rain in the summer, but you get what I'm talking about, right? And that snow Threat will be with us through the afternoon and back off this evening as the cold front comes all the way through. It's actually going to be colder tomorrow. I think it's going to feel colder today because of the winds, but actual temperatures will be colder tomorrow. Looks like some late day clouds will move in. And eventually by Friday, we really start to cloud up and we're watching another system move towards us. 41 in Hamilton today, 43 for Stafford Township, 41 up in Neptune, 41 in Edison, 44 for Atlantic City and 38 down in Sea Isle City. That's what we're projecting for highs today. 20 tonight, some of you in the low-lying areas will get down into the teens. It'll be cold and breezy, but those extreme winds are going to back down. It'll still feel like we are in the middle teens, I believe. Stay connected on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at Nor'easter Nick. You can also go to my website, nor'easternick.com. 7-day forecast. Oh, I'm just jumping ahead here. I don't know why I put that slide there. Ugh, it's almost the weekend, I promise you. 35 in Blackwood and... Vineland and Hamilton 36 for your Thursday. It's going to be a cold and less blustery day. All right, there we go. 54 on Friday. We start to cloud back up and we are looking at some rain that will be with us on and off. Now, the weekend is not a washout and disregard anybody that tells you otherwise. Bring the wet weather gear with you. Have the umbrella handy, but it's not looking like an all-day wall of water event. 
uh, both Saturday and Sunday, temperatures could actually get into the upper 60s, I think, on Saturday, especially if we can get a little bit of sunshine out there.